weapons do I have? I have a shotgun, but I want to keep the shotgun for when he's in his cocoon. No! Oh, fuck me! Help me now. HELP ME! He's now vulnerable! What a fucking cunt. That's some fake ass shit. I'm I sh I'm shooting at his I'm shooting at him, dude. Lame ass fucking shit. Also running out of ammo. Yep, I have no ammo. Only those grenades, which I don't know how to use. Yeah. Lame. Lamest fight ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the stupid thing is, I don't even know if I can actually kill him the first time when he's now in his cocoon. Oh my god. I mean, can I or not? Yeah, I know. Wow, okay, what a fucking game. I have to wait until he does it. And that's a, that's a second time. And I was out of ammo. But of course. But of course I'm out of ammo. Oh. Wait a minute, I didn't know that there was stuff over here. That makes things interesting. Yoink! Oh, hi. Oh, God! Not yet. Help! Okay, now. Yeah, do your thing. Wow, okay, that works. Guess I don't need ammo for that after all. 
Alright, uh, what do we do now? I've shotgun shells, but it's pretty much all I got. One left, which I fucking fucked up. <laughs> I don't know, this probably doesn't work. Wow. Help me out. Oh my god, this game now becomes very lame though. Fuck me. Especially because I now again have to kill him like the first time that he goes into this cocoon and then I can't do anything. This is a really, really bad boss fight. Stay in control. All right, that one fast. Now he comes back, which is great. Just waiting here, doing nothing. Great game. Exciting. He's coming back. We have to kill him when he's in his cocoon. Okay. They're still okay. I forgot about that herb, which is somewhere. Don't need experience, damn it. Do it now. No, now. What are you doing? You know, this game can go fuck itself hard. What is this guy doing? This is ridiculous. This is retarded. This literally is the worst part until until now in the whole game. I mean, look at this. Fake ass bullshit. Yeah, great. Not having fun at all, gotta admit that. Not at all. Please wait, 
I don't understand where I forgot where that herb is, or maybe it was just a random herb that dropped from one of those things he shoots. Could have been possible. Fuck you, go and die. Oh shit! Shotgun is the way to go! And it's... Still not enough! So it means that you have to shoot him four times to get rid of him. Four times! Are you kidding me? What happened to the classic kill or shoot something three times, huh? Yeah, and then I was out of ammo. Great game. Boring! About time- oh my god! Oh, this game is so stupid. Stupid. Why is it not? It's I don't understand. Maybe I changed skills or something because it's not healing me properly anymore. Now what? I can't shoot, dude. I cannot help you. I can cut. Oh my god. Wow, okay, this... Uh, you should be ashamed of yourself, Capcom. How am I supposed to win?! I have a knife! Uh, okay. Yes, I was supposed to win with the knife. <laughs> Worst boss fight ever. Simmons was kind of fun in Leon's. This one's horrible. Come on, just stay with me. You're gonna be okay. I'm sorry, Captain. I 
did it. For the BSAA. For the future. I know. You did a real good thing. As long as you... I don't want to hear it! We're both getting out of here. Right? With Jake's antibodies. <sighs> wow, I'm tired. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to play anymore. But this is... I think we should be done pretty soon, so... You hear me? Okay. Don't have HP anymore, by the way. Don't know if you Stay noticed. Back, Captain. I can kill Do it. Good job. Good job. Warning. Facilities infrastructure compromised. Unable to withstand water pressure. All personnel, please evacuate immediately. You're coming, Hamiha. Warning. Facilities infrastructure. Uh, what? I didn't press V yet. understand is Finn was way faster in terms of changing and again this is another strain but still He's not going. And he's closing the door. What a hero. Pierce! No, don't do this! Open the door! God damn it! Listen to me! We can still both get out of here! There's still time! What are you doing? No, Pierce! Don't! You can still make it out! God damn it, Pierce! No! Pierce, open the goddamn door! That's an order! No. Pierce! He's a hero! They better let him die, though. Don't don't give me that cliche thing that he comes back. It would be a pretty ending. He sacrificed himself. He hated me, but he he loved me in the end. What is going on? Oh my God! You suck so much, dick.
You bleed, bastard. Oh, the sun! It's been so long. You were not supposed to be the new Chris. But you're a great guy. You're a lot better than Elena, though. Wow. Well, guys, that was it for Chris's campaign. And I have to say, I had overall, in all honesty, a better experience than Leon's. Leon's campaign really uh, got interesting towards second half, uh, which is funny because I think Leon's campaign actually got more action-packed, more like the new style Resident Evil than the first half, but the first half was just so cliche with, um, with the type of zombies. And you could say, well, Resident Evil 1 and 2 were zombies. <laughs> no, they had lickers, they had hunters, I mean, I wonder if people nowadays, if they if they know what a hunter is at all. I mean, I, 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 I'm of that generation that actually knows what a fucking hunter is. Um, they could have maybe added Crimson Heads, which they added uh, newly to Resident Evil on, on GameCube, and I don't know. It could have been better that. But overall, I had a good experience with this. Only you could see my frustration with that last boss battle. Um, and I guess I now understand why it was so frustrating, because it was actually the last boss. But, uh, phew. That was a son of a bitch. I hated that, that monstrosity thing. Still, kind of upset that we didn't get to fight Ada Wong. Maybe in Ada Wong's campaign, the real Ada Wong will fight the fake Ada Wong. I don't know. Um, but overall, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand why people hated so much about this campaign. I really had fun. I, I really have. The story was more interesting. Still cliche and cheesy, but hey, that's Resident Evil, you know. I mean, if you look at every, if you look at even the first Resident Evil uh, on the PlayStation with their cliche, che or well, not cliche, but their cheesy uh, cutscenes, you know, with real life actors and the voice acting was just horrible. I mean, if you say Resident Evil was always was about the story, it was about the story. You're you're completely wrong, completely wrong. And I had fun, and I'm and now actually v getting curious to what Jake's and Sherry's campaign is about. They are actually starting to grow at, on me since I know kind of now what the scenarios would be, but also what else is happening. Because if you, for example, remember, we also met Sherry and Jake in the Leon campaign. And we fought that colossal dude in uh, in China, and Jake and Sherry said that they ran into that thing a few times before. So I'm very curious how that will work, how their story will turn out, how they meet each other. Uh, they'll probably, like, Sherry is, is supposed to protect him or something. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very curious. The, the, the story, you know, comes together, still not a great story, but... I like now that I have a more clear image of what is going on. If you play one of these campaigns, you really do not have a clear thing. And I even think that's, that that's the case if you would start with this campaign instead of Leon's campaign. Yeah, I don't know. Still, it's a shame. Like I said, that some of those reviewers stopped playing. It's not the worst game of all. Still, overall, I would indeed say, or actually, this campaign was great. Okay, I think this this campaign may have actually been more fun overall than Resident Evil 5. Do I say that very, very careful? Because, like I said, Resident Evil 5 is still the best co-op experience that I had. So, no, you know what? Fuck it. I had more fun with Resident Evil 5 than this, but this is now proving to be a uh, adept co-op campaign, where... They give good uh, differences in gameplay to both both people, which is uh, a necessity. Da 
down, 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 down. But yeah, this is a long game. I think I'm now on... 12 or 13 hours in total. And I still need two campaigns. So I guess indeed at the end I will be around like the 20, 20, 21, 22 hour mark. Which is great for, for a Resident Evil game, I think. And I still actually don't know what kind of like extras there are. And what I still don't know, since this game is now out, out for, for a while, I don't know exactly what all the DLCs are. I don't think they come up with new like story DLCs, which is a shame because the story DLCs for Resident Evil 5 were great, especially the first one. Second one was okay. It was a lot of action, more action than the whole uh, whole game by itself. Um, but yeah, the, the 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 first one, the first one was great, horror style combat. Actually, comes with only one type of guy. But like, I, I feel that they need to be more creative with the type of monster and the type of bosses they're doing. Like, I don't know. You had, I mean, the snake in the very first Resident Evil was so much more iconic than here. And it's also the aesthetic. I mean, here the snake becomes invisible, so, so you don't even see him. Uh, in the first one, you had the shark. Here, it looks like some random zombie shark, which, you know, is is not as impressive. Let just let it be a full-grown size shark. That was the thing always that they were just a little bit eaten away. Same with the dogs in Resident Evil One, where. They were they looked still like dogs, but just had chunks or chunks of flesh ripped out of them. And here they get all, all weird shapes and f and and look like amoebas and stuff. So that's I think I think that's the thing I'm worrying most about about how the creature design monster design is going for the Resident Evil franchise. I'm kind of worried about that. People are worried about the whole action thing. I don't know. I don't mind it. I still had very tense moments. For example, when I had to find those three keys, uh, when I was searching for Ada in that old abandoned uh, city hall. This campaign definitely had its moments. But uh, yeah, better, better creature designs is a must for the next one. And there will definitely become a next one because this one's, this game sold very well. And probably would also sell very well on the PC. I would not be surprised. And I'm kind of out of things to talk about. So, I'm kind of surprised that the credits are not over yet. You would think... I wonder if they have, like, um, different credits for the, for the campaigns. wouldn't think so. You would think that in, in, in the credits, they would thank uh, all the people for all the campaigns at once. Still haven't looked into that whole um, Valve, Capcom, working together to make something, so uh, need to take a better, better look at that, too. And I just need, I need to need to um, explore the extras a little bit on this game. Ah, here we go. Special thanks. Yeah, special thanks for the love for that. Ooh, kept all stuff.
Come on! should be still a little cutscene after this. And back in the same bar. Ah, taking the steak that he took all those years ago. Captain, we've received new orders. Who are you? All right. I was afraid that that was Pierce for a moment. That would have been such you a bad ending. Like yes, sir. I like that they got the balls. That they had the balls to kill off Pierce. He was a, he was a good character. Loved it. Mm -mm. Good job, game. Yeah, I don't care about this shit. Alright guys, that was it for this campaign. I will not continue playing uh, today, but of course next time I will start Jake's campaign. And until then, see you guys later.